Hello guys, welcome back to Sholiver Celebrity News and Updates where we bring you the right update and all of what you will like to know. If you are new here or if at all you are just passing by for the first time, please take some minutes of your time to subscribe, like, comment and hit the notification button so that you will not miss in any of my uploads. Saudi Arabia has pumped gigantic sums of money into numerous well-known sports over the globe and tennis has moreover been part of their plans. Now that the ATP and other general finals are being held in Jeddah, a bargain to require the women's season-ending championship, the WTA finals, is up and coming. However, a universal bigwig is against the disputable move, as he recently issued his artless explanations. Igers Tech won the championship match of the WTA finals, which was held in Mexico in the past season. But presently that Hawks are going on to arrange a competition in the centre-eastern country, Diminish Frank Entel, Begg's Worldwide UK's financial undertakings chief, has as of late encouraged Coco Gauff and Irina Sabalenka to utilise their particular stages. In look of the inescapable WTA finals bargain, Diminish Frank Entel as of late talked about human rights in the centre-eastern country. Amnesty Universal UK's Financial Issues Executive Courage to encourage the top-ranked players on the women's visit, Coco Gauff and Irina Sabalenka, to use their platforms to shed light on the same issue. In an interview with Show Celebrity News and Update Frank Entel expressed that, if a Saudi-hosted WTA finals comes to pass, we would urge players like Coco Gauff and Irina Sabalenka to use their platforms to speak out about human rights in Saudi Arabia, while the Women's Tennis Association will have a particular responsibility to use its influence to press for human rights reform in the country. An understanding to organize a competition in Saudi Arabia would see the top eight ranked singles players and 16 double players compete for the WTA finals title in the nation. If they secure a place in the top eight rankings on the WTA visit this season, a group that would right now incorporate the likes of Irina Sabalenka, Iga Swiatek, and Coco Gauff, will be heading to Saudi for the season ending championship. Though Frank Entel shows up to be restricted to the thought, a top-ranked WTA player already expressed her excitement about the possibility of tennis in the centre-eastern nation. The sixth-ranked Tunisian player on the women's visit has freely sponsored Saudi Arabia's conceivable ventures in the racket diversion. Ons Jabur already opened up about how she is very excited to compete in the nation on the off chance that the competition is to be organised there. She said, as an Arab player, I'm very excited to be there. In a press conference before her campaign at the 2023 US Open, the 29-year-old player too demanded that she is pushing for change and more openings for ladies in Saudi Arabia. The WTA player expressed, I am someone pushing for a change, pushing to give more and more opportunities especially for women. As a tennis fan, what do you think of the deal that would take the WTA finals to the Middle Eastern nation? Let us know. Thank you for watching to the end. If you have something to tell us about this video, leave your comment on the comment section below. Your comments matters a lot. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video and share. See you next time.